A well-known writer on Picasso said that he created a ceramic poem through his playful meditations on the mineral world and its transformation through fire. When he was 19 years old, Picasso came to Paris for the first time and he met a sculptor named Paco Durio. And Durio introduced him to Gauguin's aesthetic concept, which was about primitive art and about creating an art form that had no specific geographical essence, no anthropological identity. And that concept fueled Picasso throughout his life. And 40 years later, when he began to work on his ceramics, he was able to create an art form that was completely unidentifiable in terms of any geographic area or anthropological identity. It was just Picasso's own ceramic universe. Initially, Picasso wanted to create his ceramics to give people an opportunity to collect his work who couldn't afford his paintings, which even in the 1940s were extraordinarily valuable. In fact, he actually traded one of his still life paintings for a house in the south of France after the war. So he began to make kind of utilitarian ceramics, but eventually he really explored the medium and revolutionized it. Much like the invention of collage that he created, he was creating an entirely new way of looking at an art form and transforming it. In terms of subjects, Picasso had a wonderful, playful panorama of ideas. He created images of the bullfight, images of still lifes, animals, birds, fish, owls, even his pet goat Esmeralda, and images of his wife Jacqueline, whom he met at the Madura Foundry in Valeris, where he created his ceramics. Mythology played an important part in the subjects of Picasso's ceramics and he felt connected to that Mediterranean spirit that goes all the way back to the Etruscans, the Greeks, the Romans, and the Iberians. He loved the fact that he was working in the south of France in Valeris, and that area was connected to those centuries and centuries of artisans who create so many spectacular examples of ceramic sculpture. In his ceramic imagery, which really runs parallel to his etching engraving period, Picasso was able to create a remarkable sort of abbreviation of form. He would take the simplest lines and elements and create such a marvelous expression with them. Particularly, these are noticeable in his faces that he created, these amazing plates that he produced in ceramic. The interest in Picasso's ceramics has continued to grow, and justifiably so. We see in his ceramics another example of his unlimited imagination, his power, his incredible creativity, and now, 50 years later, we are still recognizing the fact that Pablo Picasso was one of the greatest artists of all time and will go down in history as one of the most important figures ever to emerge in the history of art.